really ever loves false alarms, especially when you're the first responder. So today, we'll cover how to troubleshoot unexpected incidents created by your cloud monitoring alerting policies. Google Cloud Monitoring allows you to create an alert policy on metric or log-based data. Alert policies can be configured to have one or several conditions. To troubleshoot misfired alerts, it's important to understand a few key fields that define when and how a metric-based alert should be triggered. The alignment period, or the rolling window, defines a look-back interval from a particular point in time. The rolling window function dictates how the points are aggregated. Condition type defines how the alert should be triggered. That is, when a particular metric violates the threshold or when a metric data is missing for a certain period. The retest window is the amount of time an alert policy condition is violated before an incident is created. We will also go over how missing data can affect your alert policies in a later example. To learn more about creating monitoring alerts, refer to the video linked here. Let's go over a specific scenario where a false alert is triggered. You configure an alert policy using a custom metric to monitor a process's threat count. After a day, you get your first incident notification. Surprisingly, you notice that the value of the metric never went above the threshold on the chart. Hmm, why did we get a false alert? There can be multiple causes such as alert misconfiguration and ingestion delays. Let's take a look at the configuration in more detail. Firstly, the rolling window and retest window for this alert are configured at 2 minutes. The condition type is defined to trigger an incident when the custom metric goes above the threshold of 100. If the condition continues to be violated for 2 minutes, an incident will get created. One explanation of why a false alert was triggered is that the policy configuration does not account for metric delays. It's likely that at this point in time, condition evaluation became true since there was a value above the threshold of 100. Then due to metric delays, no value was ingested for at least 2 minutes, resulting in the condition evaluation to remain true for the entire retest window, causing the alert to trigger. Once the delayed metric data is ingested, due to interpolation, the value does not appear on the chart, and it looks like the condition was never violated. Let's confirm if this custom metric has any delays. Navigate to Metrics Explorer and zoom into the last few minutes. Here, you can see there is no data received within the past three minutes. There you go. This clearly indicates that an incident was caused due to ingestion delays. To prevent ingestion delays resulting in unexpected incidents, it's recommended to increase the rolling window to at least three times the sampling rate. You can find the sampling rate for any platform metric in the description of the video. Now let's take a look at another scenario. Let's say you create a log-based metric and set up an alert policy to notify you when the number of active user sessions on your IES site goes above 250. You set the rolling window to 2 minutes and the retest window to 5 minutes. The alert seems to be working as expected and after about a week you receive an unexpected incident notification. When you look at the incident chart, the metric data never reached the threshold, meaning that the condition was never violated. Why would an incident be created when the number of active user sessions never exceeded 250? Let's go over to Logs Explorer to review the actual logs. We can see that the received timestamps for the sum of these logs are about 6 minutes after the actual timestamp. This means that there was a delay in log ingestion at the time of the incident. Going back to alert policy configuration, we can see that missing data results in violation of the condition, meaning that since there is no data, the condition is evaluated to be true. To prevent false alerts like this, it's a good idea to configure the evaluation of missing data fields accordingly. In this case, it makes sense to set the evaluation of missing data to not be treated as a violation of the condition. It's also good to keep in mind that log-based metrics can be delayed and backfilled for up to 10 minutes. So we would also want to increase the rolling window to at least 10 minutes to account for delays. These are just a couple of examples of why your alert policies may be misfiring. In summary, when configuring your alert policy, carefully select your rolling and retest windows depending on your preferred alerting behavior. These windows should consider potential metric and log ingestion delays. Lastly, define how you would like the missing data to be interpreted, depending on the frequency and reliability of the metric data and your specific use case. For more information, check out these documentation links. Thanks for watching.